Good morning, Delaware. You are now tuned in to this week's previously recorded worship services from the East Zion Fair Baptist Church in Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington's most exciting church. This is Pastor Curry, pastor of the Ezai and Fair Baptist Church. It is a privilege and a pleasure to come to you every week. But before we get started today, I want to first say Merry Christmas to all of you. Yes, today we celebrate the birth of the risen Savior, the one who came through Mary in order that we may have a right to the tree of life. Again, on behalf of the entire Ezai and Fair Church family, I want to say Merry Christmas and a prosperous and happy new year. Today, I have something special for you. Just last week at our church, we did our annual Christmas program, and what a great joy. God has so gifted us and blessed us with so many gifts and talents and young people and middle-aged people and older seasoned saints, and I've learned to allow people to operate in their gifts. Well, we had our Christmas program, and you will see in a few minutes that the Lord blessed us with music. He blessed us with the arts, and it was just a grand time in the Lord. You won't see me to the end of this broadcast again, but I hope you enjoy the music ministry of the Ezion Fair Baptist Church. And then we're going to come back at the second half, and we're going to talk, show, share with you a little bit about the play that took place as well. We'll be right back.
brothers and sisters <laughs> I want to welcome you back to life Back to the one That can make your next chapter Your best chapter Hallelujah How can it be in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and say welcome to the Easy and Fair Baptist Church, Wilmington's most exciting church, the church that love you and anything you can do about it. It is a joy. It is a privilege to have each one of you who are worshiping with us today. I know for real, for real, that you could have gone to any church in this city, but you took the time to worship with us today and we consider it a personal privilege and an honor to have you with us. I pray that something is said or done that will literally transform your life. We want you to walk out of here knowing this, that we love you and ain't a thing you can do about it. Come back and visit us again. But until that time, know for today that you are welcome, welcome, and welcome. 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 Our Warriors in the Word Zoom Bible Study is every Thursday at 7 p.m. The Bible study starts with praise and worship, which will prepare you for the study of God's Word. Our National Prayer and Meditation Call occurs every Sunday and Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. This is our time as a people of God to hear an encouraging word and pray for miracles in every aspect of our lives. Join our National Prayer and Meditation Call directly, dialing. 319-527-2650. Sunday school is held every Sunday at 6.30 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Join us as we explore the fundamentals of our faith. Prayer is key to our access to the Lord. Join us every Wednesday for our noonday prayer at 12 noon in the sanctuary. We're back for our in-person live worship celebrations in the sanctuary every Sunday at 9 a.m. In 11.30 a.m., there's power being in the presence of the Lord. Join us weekly as we worship together at 9 and 11.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. Join us at 9 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook Live by typing E-Zion Fair Baptist Church. There are four ways to give at EFBC. One, through Cash App using dollar signs. EFBC. Two, through Zell. Trustees at Ezion Fair Church. Battle. Three, by mail. 1400 B Street, Wilmington, Delaware. 19801. And four, on the website, myezionfair.org. Click the giving button. If you are in need of transportation to the church, please call the church by Friday at 5 p.m. You must be able to provide proof that you are fully vaccinated and do not have a vehicle of your own. To schedule a pickup, call the church at 302-652-9114, extension 110.
back. I hope and trust you enjoyed the music ministry. God has blessed us with some talented singing people here at Ezai and Fair. I'm appreciative to our minister of music who led that mission and God did a phenomenal job through him while various members of our choirs and praise teams were a part of that. We now turn your attention to the fine arts department, which my wife leads. And now we're gonna deal with Life Interrupted. This was a play that she wrote in order to really just give you a, a glimpse of what, what, what it looked like in the 21st century where a Mary would have to come and tell her husband that she has been impregnated by the Holy Spirit. How would you have handled that? Well, would you have just said, oh, well, praise the Lord and blessed be the Lord, or would you have handled it differently? I love the contemporary spin that was put on this, and I hope that you will enjoy it as well. Let's take a look at it. The one that was just perfect for me. Mary, can you believe in a short while you will be a wife? I know I can't believe it, but I knew it when you was a girl, and I'm happy for you too. Thank you. Girl, do you remember when we used to run around and play wives and mothers? And girl, now you're going to be a wife? <laughs> yes and no. In less than six months' time, I'll be marrying such a wonderful and honorable man. Lord knows we aren't wealthy, but we have such beautiful plans to spend our life together. Oh, look at me just bursting with joy. Let me grab that dress I wanted to show you. I'll be right back. Excuse me? <laughs> How can this be? I have no husband. Not yet. The Holy Spirit shall descend upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. And therefore the child will be called Holy, and the Son of God. And Elizabeth, your cousin, is herself also expecting a son in her old age. And she is now in the sixth month, though she was called barren. For no promise for God shall fail to be, to be fulfilled. Could it be that the Lord has chosen me? That I've been worthy of the privilege to birth a king? What shall I do? What shall I say? I can't convey the emotion and the joy that lies inside. 
something to eat, okay? Okay. the mother of the Most High God has come to see me. How'd you know? The Holy Spirit doesn't lie, Mary. Oh. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. Mm -hmm. He has taken note of me, mm -hmm. even though I'm not important. From now on, all people will call me blessed. They will all see what great things he's done for me. He has scattered the who, those who are proud in their, in their deepest thoughts, and he has brought rulers down from their thrones, but he has lifted up people who are not important. He has, he has turned those away who were rich and had everything, but he has filled those who are hungry with good things. He has always remembered to be kind to Israel. And he has always helped Abraham and his children down through the years. Mm -hmm. And he has done it, just as he said, to our people long ago. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I was so caught up in the worship of our dear Lord that I forgot where I was, oh, honestly. Man. It's okay, I completely understand. We are the recipients of miraculous works of God. You know how many people are gonna to come to the Lord through this? Oh, I know. I don't doubt or question what the Lord has done. I am, however, just a teeny bit concerned about how Joseph is gonna to react to the news. Mary. You know, men and their dramatics. <laughs> don't you worry about Joseph. Joseph is a strong man of God. Yeah. This whole thing will work out. Come on, I let's get so. you settled, okay? Okay. Right. Now, Mary, how long did you say you were staying? Days, weeks, months. Oh, I don't know. You know, Mary, sometimes family comes and they don't know how to go home. <laughs> Mary has been gone for three long months. Three months to see and visit. And uh, upon her return to see her family and that good looking, dapper, a content. Oh, good. Good, good, good. How was your stay? Oh, well, my stay was restful. That's you know, good. Elizabeth and Zachariah know just what you need to make you feel very welcomed. That's good. I do need to share the miracles of my visit. Miracles? What kind of miracles? Well, you know, Elizabeth, who is, you know, infertile and barren, mm -hmm. she is now six months pregnant, Joseph. Can you believe that? Elizabeth, are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Get off the game when I'm talking to you. Just give me one second, ma'am. Get, get, get off the game. All right, all right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. 
That is not the last of the miracles I need to share with you. Okay. Joseph, be serious. As you know, my whole life, I've been dedicated to God and to you, mm -hmm. my espoused husband. And because of that, the Lord has deemed me extremely highly favored, and I was chosen to birth the son of Jesus. I have the savior of the world. Joseph, can you believe that? This is exciting. I was chosen. Wait, what do you mean that you have the savior of the world that you were chosen, that you're carrying the, this Jesus? Yeah. What, what, what were you doing exactly when you, when you was away anyway? Excuse me? No, 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 no. You're, you got this all wrong, okay? It, it happened before I left. See, I was at my bridal shower that my friends were throwing for me, and I went up to my room, and Angel Gabriel came in and told me that I was highly chosen by God, Joseph, and that the, the Spirit of the Lord would overshadow me, and I would give birth. Joseph, this is amazing! Joseph, can, can't you see the bright side? Bright side. So, Mary, what are you trying to tell me that, that uh, you're currently pregnant right now? Yes carrying this Jesus and wait, that child's not mine? That's right. Mary, what do you want me to do with this information? How do you, how do you want me to feel? We're not even married yet, Mary. <sighs> so our plans, our life is just interrupted. Just like that. So you're upset. Yeah. Um, listen, I know you feel very betrayed right yeah. now about what happened. Um, you have every right to call off the wedding if you want to. But just know that what I'm saying is true, Joseph. Please, please don't get all offended about this. Mary, you have never given me any reason to doubt you. You mm -hmm. always held yourself as a favorite woman of God. Mm -hmm. But um, this information, I just kind of need some time to, to think it over and, uh, um, and to pray. I need to pray. Okay. So, how about this? You go ahead and go home. And I'll, um, I'll pray this over, talk to God, and call you in a few days. Okay. And... Please pray to the Lord that I'm he gives pray. you comfort. And please have mercy on us, Joseph. I'm going to have some mercy. Please. Yeah, I'm going to have some mercy. Please. I'm going to call you. Please call me. I'm going to call you. I'm please call, you. call me. Oh, I'm going to call you. And, and, and don't kick me out. I'm not kicking you out. I just, I just, I'm getting tired. I know you're not tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. But, I'm tired. Bye, Joseph. I'll call you. Bye, Joseph. I'll call you, Mary. I don't never
Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus. That is because he will save his people from their sins. Man. Jesus. Mary.
back well listen it has been a joy and a privilege sharing with you on this christmas sunday morning we did have service during the 9 a.m worship moment because this is jesus's birthday and some of you may say well you know i didn't go to church today because i wanted to be home with my family for christmas i just want you to remember whose birthday it is it was not your birthday it's the Lord Jesus' birthday. So I praise God for all of you who constantly watch us. And I hope that you enjoyed the telecast of today. Uh, the Lord richly blessed us on last week when we were in the midst of this. And the, the praises of the people of God went up on all both services. And I was just rejoicing with the Lord and glad and seeing what the Lord has and is doing in the life of his people. Again, this is the last time we probably will see each other before the new year. I pray that God will richly bless you. We do have a watch night service 
on a Saturday night, Saturday night at, at 10, 8, 10 p.m. rather, at 10 p.m. we will have our watch night service. If you have nowhere to go, please join us here at Easy Am Fair. We praise the Lord. All of our prayer, all of our choirs and, and, and praise teams, they will be here and they will be ministering and I will be bringing the word of God. And I'm looking forward to bringing your word for this year as we've been through 2022. It is now time to enter into 2023. Join us on Saturday at 10 p.m. as we worship the Lord and bring in the new year. Show the Lord how much we love and appreciate what he has done for us in the year of 2022. Now we move in to 2023. Until the next time we get together, may the Lord God bless you real good. You have been watching our previously recorded broadcast from Wilmington's most exciting church.